Sorry, can barely talk right now. We're doing an event. It's called We Feel Really Sick Event. I don't know whatever this is. Uh, we've had like diseases in the past, but this one is just nailing us. Plaguing us pretty bad. Yeah. And so for that, we've decided to kind of just play three days of just chill games. So that's kind of what this is just going to be. One of my biggest things is, is that I want to make sure that I can keep putting content out for everyone. And I feel, I, I think we all kind of feel that way. Um, because we know that it's important. It's important to put content out so people can enjoy it. I, I just, I can't justify taking a day off if I can still move is kind of my thing. Oh, we got to keep so, moving, huh? Yeah. So uh, because I could actually make it to my computer, could drag myself there, I figure that's a good time. Yeah, this is Timberborn. We got little baby beavers and I guess full grown beaver people. They, beaver people? Yeah, they're people okay. and also beavers. It's it's an interesting and kind of awesome game. I, I wasn't sure what to expect at first, but I'm kind of loving it so far. Which is... Ooh, really nice? But, oh, wait, I can't make these. Hold on, I was about to do something really dumb. I was going to build all of this, but that's going to dam up the river, and it's going to flood everything. Um, yeah, you got some... Uh... But we've got... We've got this thing called bad water, and we're in the middle of it right now. It's called a bad tide. Mm -hmm. And I think what it does... See, this is the bad water. Yeah, I see that. It, the bad water is like poisonous or toxic or irradiated or something. So you're trying to keep it out of the... Right. So we can't let it get back into our colony. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. It came the wrong way. Oh. This is just going to destroy the entirety of the map. Uh-huh. How does this work? Can you DM? You can't control... I can control a little bit of the, the water, but I, I can't control all of this. Holy smokes. This is too much. And you see, I started making a little dam here. Oh, no. It's starting. It's coming. Yeah. Big time. All I can do now is just sit back and watch. I guess let's speed things up so we can just see how bad this gets. Uh, uh, uh. It's destroying everything. Hopefully it's not enough to destroy the ground. Maybe just enough to just destroy the plants and that's it. Because I can rebuild from from the plants getting destroyed. I can't, I can't do anything if the ground gets destroyed. Whoa! No, it is destroying the ground. Look at it. It's starting yeah. to crack. Oh, uh, well, you're gonna have to remove. I don't even know what I was supposed to do there, because this is too much. Yeah, it's overwhelming. At least it's done now, but it's still gonna be here until the water can move in to get rid of it. Yeah. It, it doesn't just it came fast. dissipate. How do you have time to even prepare? I think you're not supposed to follow the tutorial, which I did. <laughs> <laughs> they led you astray. Yeah, I've kind of been thinking that for a little while, just listening to the tutorial, like watching it do whatever it is it was doing. And it was... It's the game's tutorial? Yeah, for uh -huh. like beginners. Uh-huh. Which I was. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, look! Look, the ground's coming back. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so maybe it doesn't permanently destroy the... This is pretty much permanently destroyed. You see it all cracked out? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. I was trying to teach you a lesson that you need to have uh, control. Yeah, be prepared for this. Because I have a few ideas as far as that goes. The first idea well, is... Well, you learn the flow of the water, too. It comes from... Yeah, it comes from up over here. But it, it came from the main source which is what's really kind of freaking me out a little bit. Where's the main source coming from? These rocks here. See them? Mm -hmm. And then this rock over here. But it's supposed to be pure water. It's not supposed to be the bad tide. And yet it was. Did you get that from the tutorial? <laughs> yeah, I did. I wouldn't believe them. I, probably, maybe not. I don't know. Now, are these dead dead? Like, never again dead? 
Ooh, we actually have a surplus of logs for one. Hmm. That was like the bane of our existence in our first playthrough. And then I'm not going to mess with science for a little while until I can get to the point where where things are kind of hopeful and we have food. Because we had a massive drought that just basically ruined everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm, we're trying to recover from that. So we actually, we survived the bad tide. As miserable as it kind of was and as scary as it was, I think we're okay. I never turned off the water pumps during that time either, but it doesn't look like they pumped any bad water. Mm. So I I did, forgot to even, I was so busy panicking, <laughs> I forgot to even check if that was going to be a problem. Oh well, that works. Now, So now I just have to figure out a way to get whatever resources I need in order to build up my next little dam area, which is probably going to be up in here somewhere. That way I can actually stop the bad tide if I need to. Because if I can stop it here, this whole area can fill up. Was that another? Where? This? Village or... Yeah, what is that? Those are the old runes. They're made of metal. Okay. So if I can get there, I can actually harvest that metal. Which seems weird to say, but our little beavers, they got super teeth. So <laughs> <laughs> they'll chew right through it. And because of the metal, that's why we have the uh, teeth grind grindstone. So anytime that they break their teeth, they can come here and get them like ground up to like a fine oh. point. <laughs> that way they can get back to work. Do they keep growing? I don't know. Do I like hamsters and. Oh, do hamsters' teeth grow too? I think so. Or is it gerbils? I don't know. I didn't know. They... Oh yeah, because their teeth can grow and they gotta. Oh, like file them down. I that, just know they can grow. That's cool. I thought that might have been something that I had heard before about beavers, but I wasn't sure. They must be descendants of the hamster. <laughs> <laughs> they could very well be. <laughs> they kind of do look like baby versions of beavers when you think about it. Yeah. The hamsters. So. They just don't have a tail. <laughs> that That's also true. And they probably don't like to swim. At least not a flat one. And yes, probably not. They probably <laughs> drowned. <laughs> Oh, and if anybody has a hamster out there, don't try to take it swimming oh. in the bathtub. So the drought's coming. That's what the little notification was that we got. Uh, so what you don't know is I've been working on this massive project for like a long time. Like since the first day of the colony. So what is the project? Tell me. I built this little dam up. Oh. Because I think there's going to be water that's going to stop in here. Oh. And if there is, then I can build pumps for uh -huh. our water uh -huh. right here. I can at least build one. And if I have that pump, then I'll actually be able to pump out water even during the dry season. Is that going to be enough water? I, well, it'll, this little bit should be enough to get us through for a little while. Okay. I'm hoping. And now my ultimate goal, eventually... Because you could have put that dam anywhere. Yeah, I could have. But the problem is, is see how high this is? Okay. So the water will stay in this deep if area. I'm saying you could have moved it forward. Uh, this is too shallow. Oh, I see now. You'll see. The way it the, must have been a line, like a cut. I see where the, the fault is along the... Yeah, you see yep. How, yep. how tall that rock is? I do now. Yeah, but you, did you see how this dried up instantly? Yeah. I'm hoping that this is deep enough because we'll eventually lose this part of it too. What about all the beavers that swim in it? <laughs> uh, well, as long as it's not bad water, like <laughs> what was over here, they'll be okay. I think we've done it. I think we have enough water because they can just sit here and pump this out, all out. We've stopped the flow of water. Look, this is all still wet. Oh, that's bad water, but that's okay. Uh -huh. Hopefully it doesn't back... Oh, this is flowing out. So we'll eventually lose a little bit of the higher water table, but that's okay. If I have to, I'll go clear across the map and dam that up too. I think that we've successfully managed to save our little beavers, at least for now. Hey. What? You're barely, barely, barely good. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> we are actually barely good because... This is going to be a six... We have six more days of drought. Six more days? Six more days. 
Okay, fast run this. Let's and go. <laughs> I, I mean, it is. It's going right now. At Kill the beaver. Speed. No, we don't want them oh. to die. That's what the problem was before they were dying. Oh, poor beaver. Is it a is it a beaver made dam? I think it's just a regular natural blockage. Yeah, natural barrier blocking water. It can be demolished. Got some dynamite? Uh, that's actually what I'm trying to work toward right oh. now. Oh. Is getting myself some explosives. Oh, damn. But I have to get over to the metal, I think, in order to get it, which is why I'm working my way over there now. We'll see how well that works. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, I think going this I way would be a shorter, shorter distance. You're taking them all the way out and around and across and over the yeah. grandma's house you... <laughs> <laughs> haven't gone kind of yeah but i think the main reason i went this way was so i could dam up all of this because i want to put in an underwater farm <laughs> underwater. yeah they've got like underwater buildings that the beavers can make you need to make them a treadmill and they can just sit there and run 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 oh that's what these ones are seriously yeah then they thought of everything yeah then they can power that it's just it's not very productive uh -uh. because these can do it. Because the water does it natural. They are little hamsters. <laughs> yeah, oh, they God. are because they run on the hamster wheel. That's what I was saying before. Is they have got little hamster wheels. But now that this is built up, we could actually put in an aquatic farm. That'd probably be smart. So that's what this one is. It takes 150 science. We have 1,000. So we have plenty. It kind of looks cool. You know how nice it's going to be when you can dam up the other and you can still have food over there? Oh, over here? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I Because even this... during a drought, you'll have food. That's my ho my goal. Yeah, I hope. If I can put a bunch of... And that's why I'll wait on this one and see how the aquatic farm works. Yeah, that's and true. Once I can do that, I can turn all of this into farmland and all of this into aquatic farm. That would be the, the dream right now. Well, your big barrel's filling up. Where? Oh, it's done! Yes! <laughs> nice catch! You never noticed? Oh my goodness! We have it! How many gears do we have now? Five? They pump out gears like crazy. Oh, they're busy beavers. But that is true. That and I don't think I use a lot of the gears for much. So let's turn that off. I definitely need more planks. That's awesome. That's really exciting. Yeah, you need to get them barrels filled, though. Yeah, they're working on it. Okay. Luckily, most of our beavers are really good meteorologists, and they can tell me when there's a drought coming. They're meteorologists? Yeah, for some reason, they know how weather works. Yeah, they get the aching, too. Oh, yeah, they can, like, feel it in their teeth. Right, in their tail. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's what the tails are for? That's why it goes crazy. Did it, did it, did it. I'm not sure what any of these. You ever watch them? It's like, like they're which just. Ones are good or that's not. funny. What? You can just see them going chit, 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 right at the, at the tree. Oh yeah, they. I mean, they just gnaw away. They're, I just can't get over how small they are and how realistic they make it look when they're chopping it down. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's fascinating to me how like detailed the little beavers are. Here, I'll slow them down. Minding their own business. So is that not supposed to be built in the water? How does that work? Let me build another one. Maybe up here? Oh. Oh, it just has to be built by the water. What about the field? <laughs> well, I know the field has to be in the water. I'm almost positive. Because it says partially submerged. See, it's starting to grow. Oh, it is starting to grow. You're yeah. right. Okay, so yeah, we're good. And now the bad tide's coming, so it could wipe out our entire crop down there. But it'd be the last to go, I would think. Yeah, I would think. Oh, Actually, no, it's not going to be the last to go because it comes through here. And I can't stop it. I can't dam this off completely. Oh, the bad tide because it is the bad. I was thinking drought. Oh, it would have the water the longest if it was just the drought. But yeah, this is the irradiated You're right. water. It's going to kill it. Yeah. Because it's going to be touched first. You better turn your pumps off if you get. Oh, yeah, I will. That's a good point. Forgot about that. But you're going to want to wait until the water starts. Right, to give them every opportunity to pump water. Yep. When we start seeing bad water, could it get to a point where we can just shut it off? Divert it? Yeah, my ultimate goal is to blow this up and divert yeah. all the bad water over here. Yeah, yeah. 
And I can do that by building in floodgates that go three high okay. right here. Then I'm on the right path. Yeah. But I got to get some beavers over here to clear out this little forest in order to get to the metal, in order to get dynamite, in order to... It's just, it's... I thought dynamite was going to be easy. It's not. It takes forever. Pumps off. Okay, yep. Pumps are going off. There's the ground cracking. No, that's all of our wonderful new farmland. Well... Well, let's turn this off then. Doesn't matter. They're not going to grow anyway. Oh, I need metal for that. So I can't even build that until we have enough metal. The contamination barrier? Yeah. Well, then you got to get busy I, over there. I, I know. I'm trying. My beavers just are not prioritizing this. The good news is, is I think contamination goes away once the water kind of cleans up. Yeah, it does. See, the cracks are yep. going away. I was worried that that would be permanent, but it doesn't look like that it is. I mean, if it's opened up, it would turn green again. Right, exactly. Look and at the, look at the dynamite. I'm trying. Come on. I, that's been my goal since I started this game yeah, was well, to get dynamite. You ain't there yet. No, but I can't make the dynamite until I've got... Prioritize. 30 gears, 30 planks, and 30 metal. You need to have more beavers. I need to have a lot more beavers, but I can't feed all of them. I'm trying. I'm trying my darndest. Oh, the potatoes turned back on first. That's awesome. How are we doing for food? Food's looking okay. Our berries here are not doing well. Let's turn this back on. Your pumps need to go back. Oh, you are correct. Let's not kill them before we kill them. Right. Let's at least give them a shot at what surviving. What did you do without me? I struggled. <laughs> if you didn't see the last episode, I struggled real hard. So far since you've been here, you've been like a good luck charm because we've been able to um, successfully divert the water the way we need to. And your water, go back. Look like it cleared up. Oh, yeah, I did. You're yeah. right. Okay, so... Really good at colonization here. Yeah, we're doing good. Now that we have that, now I can put in a floodgate here. And yeah, that's a floodgate. Look at that. that nice. just, that's a monster. I'm feeling so confident right now. And that's, Don't get too confident. I know, that's my problem. I always do that. But... It's hard not to when the little beavers are just doing their best, living their best life. Water hasn't even started flowing yet. And oh, there it is. Um, and we're still doing amazing. So, I'm really happy with the way that our little colony has turned out so far. Now we finally have metal. And I've just been waiting for the science to build up in order to get the smelter in order to have functional metal. That way we can make explosives and blow some stuff up. Unfortunately, though, we're out of time for this one. No! So we're going to have to blow stuff to up in the next episode. Destruction! So stay tuned for that one. And remember, take care. And goodbye! See you later.